That's a video of the Nor'easter. Wasn't too bad though. Doesn't look too bad at all. I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am hoping to show you how I do my bullet journaling. I'm going to walk you through how I do it and I hope this comes out good enough. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm using my Vivid Scribbles bullet journal. And I am going over January. What I normally do is put the month. Um, the days of the week and what day they fall on 1 to 31 in this case it would be 1 to 28 what I have been doing is kind of doing a how many words count but I'm not doing that this month because I really want that to be more about what I'm doing each day than a, uh, a word count January's task is start writing my second book. I did do that. Um, Instagram and Twitter posts every weekday. I've been doing that. Uh, read your gratitude and affirmations daily. I've been slacking on that one. Uh, start practicing talking in front of a camera for your YouTube channel. Done. I'm doing that now. Um, start a Facebook author page. Complete. I did that. And then start an author newsletter with MailChimp or other services. I have not done that. The next, what I normally do is, each week, so I have a weekend review. I start with Monday, so January is the 4th. Monday, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, I spread it at the bottom. And I do that for all four weeks, as you can tell here. January has not been my best month. At least the beginning of January has not been, been my best month. But the, the last week has been outstanding. I uh, wrote a thousand words, started, started my 20 minute meditation, uh, started my priming with Tony Robbins. I've learned that and I loved it. And I've been consistently doing that for the last week completely. And this page is where I do my word count or page edit it. And again, I have the dates on the side with the actual words I've written that day and what my word count will be or what, what my word count is, excuse me, which I always do 750 words. That's my goal. I'm planning on doubling that this month. And again, as you can tell, I've been okay, you know, the first, what, 10 days or so. All I wrote was 822 words. I got a little better as it went on. But then again, the last week has been my best consecutive days that I wrote and the amount of, I, lo I love them. So, over here I have my reading log. Uh, again, the goal is to read one chapter a day, and as you can tell, I haven't really done that. So, these are blank pages and how I did it. So, kind of tell you, to kind of show you how I did it, I take the first three bullets, no, the, the, for, oh, excuse me, the first three lines, and I run a line across them, and then I count um, five dots. 
going to line down. This is where I'm going to do my dates, my day of the week, and what date it falls on. This will be my task. Again, just three lines down, a line across. <clears throat> and this is how I normally do my month in review. Excuse me, my week in review. And again, three. Then here I do two. So one, two, and I run a, a line across that. Go 17 lines down and do it again. Run that line and then run two lines down from that. And that'll give me the week. Uh, what I didn't do here is I have to go 14 across and make a straight line down. And I do it for the next four weeks. Here is, <clears throat> excuse me, here goes my, what I will put here is my um, word count and my reading log. And then of course, this month is different, so I want to have a YouTube idea page and a YouTube, like when I go live, when I go, when I do a video, so that will be there. Give me a few minutes so I can finish this off and start it, and I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so, in case anybody was wondering... Why I'm in the middle and I'm only in February. I originally started this um, bullet journal back in May. So, not trying to be wasteful. I'm continuing, I'm continuing on here with the pages that I have left. And I'll probably finish out the year in this smaller... Um, at least not a stick journal. All right, so I um, I wrote everything out in pencil like I normally do. This is February, the dates, my February tasks, my weekend reviews, and yes, I can admit I'm not the most neatest and I made a mistake there I'll fix that later um, all February week all February but okay and then this is just out in pencil so I know kind of have my spacing correct Saturday and Sunday I have as you can probably saw on the other two Saturday, Sunday is not really a major, you know, I don't do anything big except for family time and spending time with the grandkids and things like that. So, but my work, my work days are Monday through Friday. If I could get any work done Saturday and Sunday, I do, but normally I don't. There goes my word count, page edits, the dates, the actual words, and the word count. The reading log, and then YouTube ideas. And YouTube video and live stream. This is where I'll put that. Um, as you probably saw, with this um, Vivid Scribbles bullet journal, I got some stickers. I'm not in love with them. I use them, as you can probably tell. But I need to get bigger or a more variety of stickers. These are the pens I use. Fine line, fine liner pens, all the different colors. I have 24 of them. As you can probably see, February is, I'll be coloring in and writing in red. Pencils, regular pencils, paper made pencils I use. These are the uh, big, whoop, you're probably getting a flash. The big 0.7 mechanical pencils. Of course, my ruler, eraser because I erase a lot. And uh, so yeah, everything that I've 
everything that I've just uh, showed you will be in the description below in case anybody's looking for anything that I use so and then I'll be right back when I um, color or excuse me color these in in the red um, ink all right so now I have everything colored in in February February tasks the week the week of February week in a glance my work count page edited and the reading log YouTube idea and YouTube videos Okay, so um, that's how I do my bullet journals. I am not an artist. I do it very minimally and it works for me. Um, let me know in the comment section, do you guys do a bullet journal? Um, and how artistic do you guys get? I would love to see what you guys do and uh, thank you so much for watching this and please don't forget to like, Comment and subscribe. You guys have a great day. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.